Hi. I'm back again. And I've got a graphic calculator. Um, actually, I wanted. I, I took a look at the code of my quadratic formula program on my calculator. And it seemed. It, it was pretty bad. It was in the early days of my programming. And I decided I'm going to redo it. And rather than just. Um, editing it as it was and just deleted the whole thing I'm going to start from scratch because that's probably going to turn out a lot better um, yeah let's get started uh, quadratic formula I'm going to assume you know it already uh, program I, I'm going to clear home alright <laughs> Uh, yeah, there will be some silent parts where I'm just thinking about what I want it to do. Um, let's see, we want... And I know you can just do um, uh, the prompt command, but I'm not going to do that because this way it looks better, in my opinion. That's just to add an extra space in between, because that looks kind of cool. Mm. Yeah. Okay, and... I think what I'm going to do, hmm, well, the reason why I think my code is a lot better now is because I have implemented the use of labels, I'm going to call this label 1, just makes your coding a lot more organized, what is a, okay, Actually, wait a minute. And yeah, I probably overuse labels. I'm kind of addicted to them, but deal with it. It works, so I'm gonna use it. Display. And I'm going to use the get key trick. So make a while loop, while one, that just loops this over and over again. Zero will be stored in A. Uh, we want to get key stored in A. Should I do this? No, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, on second thought, I'm just going to do it the way I had it before. And that was display a and we actually want that to be an input so yeah 
and put a uh, all these stored in A, I guess. Um, input B stored in B and then whoops input C stored in C. Okay, so those are my three inputs. Alright, so these are the A, B, and C. Uh, just figuring out what A, B, and C are uh, to use the quadratic formula. And the quadratic formula is negative B uh, plus, there is no plus or minus operation on this calculator, so I'll have to do this twice where this will be substituted for a negative for a minus sign. Maybe it'll be plus or minus the square root of whoops. squared minus 4a I'm just going to do times okay Divided by 2a. And the reason why I'm using so many uh, parentheses is because this calculator is very particular in how it uh, does order of operations. And so if it's. It basically, if you are not clear as to. Uh, what order you want the operations to go in, it will mess up your day. B squared minus 4 times A times C divided by 2. And just to make sure, I'm just going to do that in case 2a isn't specific enough. Okay. And that will be stored in D. That will be stored in E. So we got that part taken care of. basically be um, considered the part where we get the information we need and where we solve for the roots. And oops, is that a focus? Oh, not really. Display uh, 
no. Label two and clear. So this end here signifies that's the end of label one. Label two, clear home, display, uh, the roots are The oh, the and I think we want a pause there so they can actually see what the roots are. forgot to do. Tell it to go to label two. Program. No, it's zero. Go to two. And you go to three. I'm gonna stand I can do this without labels pretty easily just by removing all things related to labels, but it, it just makes my programming a whole lot simpler, I find. This is label three. And clear home. That's pause. Oops. And label. No, wait. clear home. That's what I wanted to do. Let's make a whole bunch of space. Um, clear home. Uh, label three. What do we want it to do? see we already have the roots we already know that i think this will just be like oh you want to try again or do you have any more equations um yeah that's that's what it's going to be uh, i'm gonna do you I'll add in the extra. But okay, do you need me to solve the answer fractions? No. Um, okay, while I'm at it. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. 